All right, it is time to unveil the potato garden. Uh, this is our no-cost potato garden that I made a video about. And we are going to harvest these things right now. There's some little guys on there, but they're really not not worth much. Some little guys. We go. Yeah, it's gonna rain. Dad. This is what I was afraid of. I've seen some vol activity around here. And sure enough, it looks as though it's gotten into a couple of my potatoes. So that's a real bummer. I don't know how many of my potatoes are going to be eaten up, but it's definitely going to be time to do something about the voles in this area.
All right, well, it looks like that's what we got. Not too bad, considering uh, I didn't spend a dime on this thing. And, above and beyond that, we got a nice batch of compost here. And I'm going to turn this all over, and I will utilize this all in my garden next year. And this is full of earthworms. So we've got earthworms crawling around all over the place in here, which I love. And here's the casualties. Uh, we got about a dozen, but a dozen nice potatoes that got chewed up or eaten up by what I'm assuming is a vole. It could have been a mouse, I guess, but I'm pretty sure it was a vole. So uh, it's about time that we, we do something about these little critters that have been getting into my garden. All right, so we're back inside, and uh, I'll take a tally here to see what we got from, this, from that potato box. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, three, 45, 46, 47, uh, we got about about 50 we got about 50 in here and then we got a handful of uh, little ones in here too smaller potatoes that we'll certainly eat but uh, you know they're, they're smaller so we got about 50 here and a handful of smaller ones that's pretty much kind of what I was hoping I was hoping I'd get around 70 uh, we also lost 12 to the vol and we're going to take care of that wall. Um, I do things organically here and I don't use poisons because we do free range our animals. So I'm not going to be poisoning using any poison baits. Uh, I'm actually going to use a little trick that I used a long time ago where you can use mouse traps. You can actually use mouse traps to catch voles if you set them up properly. And I'm going to give that a shot and I'm definitely going to bring you guys along for that ride and see if we can uh, at least trap some of these voles and, and bring the numbers down. You know, I, I, don't, I don't mind a few critters in my garden. I mean, that's a, that's a part of nature. You know, that's part of the ecosystem. But I also have uh, thresholds that, that I'm willing to uh, put up with. And when it gets to the point where they're getting in and eating my vegetables, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they've crossed that threshold to the point where they're damaging and so we're going to uh, see what we can do to try to lower the population a little bit and get them under control and uh, hopefully do it without well definitely do it without using any kind of uh, pesticide or poison that could potentially hurt my other animals eleven pounds not too bad and I've still got a few other potatoes out there I can harvest that were actually volunteers from last year. Again, potatoes that I didn't, I didn't even plant them this year. They just came back from last year. So hopefully we'll get a few more pounds out of them too. And, uh, and all these potatoes cost me nothing. So here's my final thoughts on this uh, potato garden thing that we created. Uh, I'm pretty happy. I, I think it worked out well. I would have liked to have gotten a few more potatoes. Uh, obviously, we had an issue with the voles, and we're going to address that. But I mean, all in all, you know, I put that garden together at no cost at all. It cost me nothing. I had the kids out there helping me. We actually had a lot of fun building that and putting it together. Uh, I got 11 pounds of potatoes out of it, and I probably got yes, probably six wheelbarrows full of compost, beautiful compost. It's full of earthworms, as you saw. So, uh, so I got the compost out of it and it didn't cost me a dime. So yeah, I think this was a home run. It worked out really well. I'm happy. I'm going to make some adjustments for next year now that I've done this once. Um, probably put some screening in there to keep the voles out. Uh, definitely going to use some physical traps, some mouse traps, and try to catch some of those voles. I'll make a video when I do that. I'll show you. I've, I've had some success doing that in the past and I'm going to try that again. Because uh, like I said, we're, I'm, I'm not going to use any poisons out there for sure. Uh, and we're going to do it again for next year. You know, I'm going to make a few adjustments and change a few little things and hopefully get even a better crop next year. But I'm, I'm happy. I mean, how can I not be? It cost me nothing and I got a bunch of potatoes and a bunch of compost for free. 
So that really worked out well. Uh, thanks for following along. I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe it inspired you to try to do something like this yourself. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.